Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we studied how to solve a pair of linear equations using the cross multiplication method. Now, we will look at some of the commonly made mistakes while using the cross multiplication method to solve the equations. Solve the given pair of linear equations by using the cross multiplication method. Pause the video and solve the question. The given equation will initially be written in the form of general form of linear equations. Let's find out all the values of the coefficients and constants and let's test the condition a1b2 minus a2b1 not equal to 0. After which, we will we substitute these values in the cross multiplication method. Now, after multiplying according to the arrows, we subtract the second product from the first product, which gives us x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 3, which is the only solution for the given pair of linear equations. Therefore, option 3 is the correct answer. If you selected option 1, then it's a good try, but it is the incorrect answer. Because you got confused by the name cross multiplication, while solving this pair of linear equations, you cross multiplied the equations. This is an incorrect way and it gives you an incorrect result. If you have chosen option 2, it's also a good try, but this is also an incorrect answer because you didn't write the given equations in their general form and as a result you considered the value of C2 as minus 12 and solved the question further, which became the reason for your answer being incorrect. So I hope you understood the reason why option 3 is correct and all the other options are wrong. A teacher can use these examples to test the knowledge of students in her class.